and I was looking at all the things that you guys have done, the thing that caught my eye the most was your jewelry line. You're, you're kind of taking creativity and fantasy and all of the wonderful things that are out here in Hollywood and making something beautiful out of it. Well, you know, we started out, we drove the brand with the expensive 18 karat diamond because that was sort of like <laughs> the aspirational thing. And then we realized that what we were doing wasn't for everyone. And so many people liked what we were doing as far as design. And it's so, it's still the same creative process but it's taking the same creativity and bringing it to something that you can offer to masses. And we made up the, the eye, the anti-envy eye, and we love symbols. We love meaning and a story behind the jewelry. And so we made up this, this anti-envy eye, and it's kind of a protection. And we made it with all diamonds, because diamond is the most powerful stone. So a lot of people do the eye, but they do it with plastic or glass. And so we made it the ultimate. And sometimes symbols are as simple as, like I was talking about when kids have a nightmare, and you put a teddy bear in the room and say, don't worry about it, it's, right. this is gonna protect you. You know, if you believe something, if you truly believe and you follow it, 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 it becomes so. You know, it, intuition is a tool, which means you don't have to believe in it for it to work. But that belief has its own magic, right. because belief is where you assign a meaning to something, and it becomes yeah. important, and often it can do what you, the, what you assign it. Because because you believe. What I love about intuition is intuition allows you to be genius without a Harvard degree. It's 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 that it's that ability our brain has to out of the blue get great solutions and implement them or know what a market wants. I've had feelings just about life. I feel like wh whether it's in relationships or I just you have that feeling you know, and sometimes you just want to your own curiosity you want to see but you know already how it's going to end up and a lot of time i think we repress that knowing yeah. and i think that knowing takes a lot of courage because often you want something that you know is not particularly good exactly. for you i went out on a date and i have an 18 year old yeah. and i had not opened the door to the house as the knob was turning literally he yelled you've been kissed and i'm like Oh my God, how did he know that? I mean, this is like a first date, not usually when I would kiss someone. Right. I was like, oh my God, how did he know that? And what else does he know? Very uncomfortable. So have you ever had that where, where, that, where it wasn't something that you would have any way of knowing? I had that experience with a pet. I dreamt that it died and it was buried under this tree and I was so upset. And my parents had actually, the dog, there was complications and the dog had died. Aww. And they had found a cemetery, a horse canine cemetery, that I didn't know it wasn't anything that was in any way of my lifestyle. And I described it to my mom. And they didn't want to say right away because they were holding back that the dog was. I just described the tree, the thing, and everything they found to a T. Everyone feels connected to life in a different way. Um, how, what makes you feel connected? I just feel like I trust my my own gut. I try to trust myself and hope that I make the best decision. You're very good about that yeah. because she sits back and observes. I observe everything. And, and people think I'm quiet, and, but I'm, yeah, I pay too. attention to everything. At a dinner party, I'm the one in the corner. Yeah. But she catches it all. So she's actually the better judge because she's not caught up in the situation. She's not in it. She just sees how everything is, is coming apart, coming, unveiling and mm -hmm. showing itself. So thank you so much. Oh, okay. Thanks.